Hello, in today's challenge we need to insert zeros between the text and numbers to ensure that each ID has exactly 6 characters. Let's get started. First we need to load our table in the Power Query. Now to handle the padding we need to split the IDs into two parts, the text part and the number part. In Power Query we can split column by character transition. Click split column and choose by non-digit to digit. This creates two new columns, ID1 for the text and ID2 for the numbers. The split is key, because it allows us to add the padding between them in the next step. Let's create a custom column. Now the goal is to make sure that each ID has exactly six characters. To do that, we'll calculate how many zeros need to be added between the text and the numbers. We can use the text repeat function in Power Query to handle this. The first argument is our zero, the symbol that will be repeated. Now we need to understand how many times we should repeat it. It will be six minus text length of the first part minus text length of the second part. So if the text is two characters long and the number is three characters long, we'll add one zero. Now that we've added the correct number of zeros, we'll merge the text, the zeros and the numbers back into a single column. This will give us IDs that are exactly six characters long. There are two common ways to merge selected columns into one. If you select the columns using Shift and then click Merge Columns on the Add Column tab, Power Query will create a new column with the merged result. However, if you right click on the selected columns and choose merge columns there, they will be combined directly and the original columns will be removed. In the formula bar we can reorder the columns as we need. Let's put the zeros in the middle. And that's it. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.